okay so now let us implement the third method that is the from method which is simply using central difference instead of using uh, forward difference or backward difference hence this is expected to be more accurate compared to either of these two methods so in from method we use a central difference that is this will be our delta x which is basically 2 delta x in this case and the difference is uh, let me draw that again the difference is going to be this difference that is the difference between this point and this point that is going to give us delta u so delta u is going to be u i plus 1 minus ui minus 1 and delta x uh, okay i'll not write delta x uh, so del u by del x at i is approximated as uh, delta u by 2 delta x where delta u is this value so let us implement this and check out what happens so let me do this Here I'll have from and uh, our derivative will be approximated by this and in the denominator we'll have 2 delta x. Well, so uh, that's it. So this should give us our from method. So I I think I have deleted the files. Yeah. So let me run this code and check what happens. So we have our uh, solution files created. Let me now run the Python code and get the get the plots. Oh, sorry. Again, I forgot to change the method in the config file so let me do that first so i should change the reconstruction type to from and then i will run the code again so that should give me the solution files then i will run the python plot i mean python plotting code and let us see what results we get okay so here you can see that there are uh, lagging oscillations and leading oscillations however both this oscillations have reduced to much higher magnitude this is a much better solution compared to either uh, beam and warming or Lex and uh, so yeah uh, all these three methods are stable and they have different uh, CFL limits for stability uh, that I think I will not be talking about since this is not a full-fledged CFD course since uh, and those things are explained in much more detail in uh, the CFD textbooks so I will not be looking into uh, stability limits and all However, uh, the CFL cr criteria will be different uh, for all these three methods. Uh, the stability criteria will be different. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think for beam and warming, it is uh, between 0 and 2. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but uh, anyways. So, that's all I would like to talk about now. Uh, so, we have implemented three methods. Uh, we have implemented beam and warming we have implemented lex of method and we have implemented from method the difference in all these three methods is only the way in which the derivative is calculated the derivative here is the uh, value at the derivative at the centroid point then once we calculate the derivative at this point we use this value to calculate the two values that is the uh, value at ui minus half 
and the value at u i plus half and then we use this reconstruction reconstructed methods uh, sorry reconstructed values to calculate the flux so if you see the flux is calculated based on those two reconstructed values which will be now a better approximation compared to the first order however the problem is that since we have a discontinuity it leads to this overshooting of values near the, near the discontinuities and therefore uh, that leads to those oscillations which come up so there is uh, unphysical flux which is moving from the left hand side and unphysical flux which is moving out from the right hand side so there is a imbalance which causes those oscillations that can be overcome by using limiters and we will be talking about those limiters in the next video so thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye